All right. I thought I heard something. Maybe not. I'm going to have to keep playing with it. Yep, there right. we go. I thought I heard something. All right, it does work. Hello Kelly, hello DJ, hello Rochelle, yeah, I had to, hold on, I had to wiggle the wire, uh, something very interesting happened to me with my all my gear, I had to take all the HDMI ports out, switch cameras back, exchange cameras, um, <coughs> I have an HDMI splitter, which um, can separate the main audio uh, video source. One goes to the computer, the other one can go to my screen up here. Well, once it gets too hot, it doesn't want to work correctly. Um, I almost threw away HDMI cords that worked perfectly fine. To come to find out, it was a splitter doing it because I got a bunch of stuff I had to do trial and error. I even I got two of these Epifan uh, webcasters and. Um, I got one as an audio unit, uh, a mobile unit. I can carry it around and, and talk or whatever. I did a test today, it worked fine, and, but I didn't put the audio on, so it was like a silent film, but I deleted it. Um, but everything so far works fine. This camera will go out. Whether I put it back on or not, I don't know. Probably not, I'll just switch it to another view. Um, where you guys can see this whole thing. Since I was messing with this to get the audio on, of course I moved it, but okay, we're right there. We're fine about there, we're good. Okay, um, the lapel mic that I have on, you can actually see it because it's a different lens, so you can see the lapel mic right here. Um, you're gonna see a, a weird type of thing uh, going on with your computer screen. Back here, it looks like one of those zoom backgrounds, but it's not um, the way the camera's designed. Uh, even in um, film mode, um, I'm in focus. Everything else behind me is blurred. It's just the way that camera lens operates. It's called the Nifty 50. It's an older term for photograph buffs. They know what that, that is. Okay, you're gonna see the annoying square because it's centering my face. Nothing I can do about that. I do have another camera, which I should have exchanged and put over there um, that takes that square out. Um, it's a more updated version of the Canon, updated back then. Okay, that's a TS3, the other one's a TS6. And that has the firmware in it that takes away that square box. Um, I don't know how to take it, take that square box out of the, out of the, uh, the Canon. So, hey Linda, how are you? Put a fan on it to cool it off? Well, I can't do that. If the units is only, the unit's only like that big. It's like a square, uh, here, it's like a little square, uh, turn my hand, like that, that big, that little, little square there. Um, it, it does get hot. The, all the units get hot. Uh, that one, when it gets too hot, it just screws up, which is really too bad because they did work perfectly fine. But um, once again, it's in the bin of forgetfulness. Um, if I feel I should get another one, then I'll get another one. Um, because I did like it, it did work great until it gets too hot. So, and it's about 79 degrees in this room already. If you look to your lower right, I'm looking at, I should be looking at you guys, but I'm looking at the screen here. I got uh, green, blue, red, orange, and some white, which is going across um, the green and the blue. All right, okay. Um, I don't have any, uh, canvas. I don't have any watercolor paper on uh, Good Friday. I was going to go get it. I stayed up to three o'clock in the morning, three thirty, putting my mobile rig together. Um, so I didn't, I didn't, and I got up so late. I wasn't going to go out there and, and, uh, endure the masses just to get some paper or canvas so I am painting on the worst thing you could paint on um, which is regular um, 
the two gl shoot two glued sheets of of um I think it's just like eight by ten. It's not even eight and a half by eleven, but it's it's um almost like typewriter paper. So this is just a throwaway painting, or whatever. I'll just draw some crap and be done with it. Um, this is actually what is it uh, going on six o'clock right now. So this is the first time I've actually had to actually sit down and do something. No problem, Linda. So, we'll get down to doing whatever here. All right. I guess with all that time I spent doing all of that, um, messing around with the, um, the equipment, I guess I should have just brought out my hex, my hex boat, my hex, whatever the hell that thing is called. And fix this chair I should, guess I should have done that also but I didn't oh well okay I do have some glycerin here you guys see it about here um, because this is paper even though I did paint over it it may not uh, it will still probably soak through okay um, I could put it on there to see what happens real quick but I, I think it, it's gonna soak it won't stay it won't stay um, wet for very long but we'll see and you'll see it on there because obviously um, vegetable glycerin is reflective all right um, very little bit on this this is once again this is just so cheapy paper so no big deal no big deal I'll just throw something together here Linda, I'll probably send your painting off. I usually send them off pretty fast, but it's already boxed up and um, I'll send it off Monday. Okay, there we go. All slicked up. As you can see, it's paper. It's, you see the light where it hits here. Okay, nothing I can do. It's just, it is what it is. Okay. colors I have isn't really particularly dark I'll use some red to darken it deepen the color a little bit and we'll just kind of play around with that deep color and get some red in there a little bit of green two color opposites they'll deepen themselves I add a little blue something just a little dark around with it a little bit there oh, that's cool that'll work something to break up that blase looking green background I got back there These were sample brushes. I'll just take it and stir it around. Uh, because it's got a, um, this is really, really a uh, soft brush. You have to press it a little bit to get this stuff to move around. I don't want to cover the whole paper, of course. Just some interesting little tones. As you can see, this is why you don't use regular paper. You see how it, how it buckles and all of that. And really, I want to get rid of those streak marks if I can. I should be able to. So we got some interesting colors going on in there.
I just like that. It's fine. With brushes like these, obviously you clean them immediately. Um, you will get wet. The same um, uh, electronic gear that I have here in the room, I got it on this walking unit. I just take it and I hold my hands in. The bar, uh, you got two bars that swing out, one bar that goes on your chest and stomach and it's adjustable. adjustable. And for power, I got um, those uh, phone charger battery packs, but mine's cost like 80 bucks and 70 bucks. They last for hours and hours. Um, and I got special uh, cables, um, special, um, I guess, yeah, cables that fit into my um, equipment. They just plug in USB and then you got the regular input cables, power cables, power cords for them. Takes one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I got two battery packs and four units that they plug into. And um, you know, they all, uh, lucky for me, they all pretty much take the same voltage. So it's, it's all good. So that actually worked out for me. Okay, now that we got some of that happening, we'll throw in some um, leaves. I know you guys can hear that knocking around. I'll do something with that in a later date. Let's get some leaves going in here. Uh, we'll just kind of dip into this green, a little bit of uh, green and blue. All right. I'll deepen it a little bit. I'll put the red in there. And we're going to throw just leaves uh, in here. Hey, Billy. Oh, not Billy, Bill. We have a couple bills. I'm just doing a quick throwaway um, painting. Just it's really me biding time, really. That's all. Just biding time. I'll shape them up as I go along here. Well, uh, these are just background uh, leaves. We'll do something with them eventually here. I'll come out here and throw one out like this. You guys can barely see them because of the reflection. But once I um, add highlights, hopefully it'll make a little more sense to you. Thing with, uh, one of the good things about glycerin is that it's extremely um, movable. You know, you can you can play around with it and all sorts of stuff with it. Don't forget, I'm just kind of throwing them anywhere. And even though I look like I'm just haphazardly doing these. It'll, it'll make some kind of coherent sense in a second or two. Once again, these are background guys. Um, you know what? We'll just have them kind of go out in this direction. Why not? As you can see, I can pop them in there fairly quickly. We'll continue to trend this way. Some you will see, some you won't. Even I have to duck and move my head around so I can see exactly where I'm going because of the nature of the glycerin. So. Here. 
Well, if we get the familiar type of shape to them, it's okay. Well, I'm just filling out, once again, the general triangular shape. I really enjoy painting these type of leaves. They just look cool to me. See if I can deaden that light a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Maybe not. Might be a little too dark for you guys to see. Yeah. That's a little too dark. Sorry about that. Let's um, take some white. Maybe just to help you out a little bit. Uh, we'll start over here. We'll just keep the light in that way. Something like that. Maybe you guys will see that a little bit better. Uh, we'll put one right here. As I'm doing these and pressing them in there, obviously the paint's gonna get lighter and lighter as you um uh, got a straggler out there. They get lighter and lighter as you um press and work at these. Which is fine. I think I'll keep this one like that. Then I'll put the other ones in there. Once you get the uh, format of the uh, the leaf work down. They're pretty fun to do. Something a little different for the color of the leaves today. Hope everybody had a pretty decent uh, Thanksgiving. You guys can barely see this. Sorry about that. It's the glycerin doing it. And because the glycerin's on the paper, I don't have to uh, add glycerin to the paint, of course.
Maybe if it's too abrupt. I gotta always take some of that out. Okay. take a little bit of that orange now orange is semi uh, transparent so you have to beef it up a little bit just use a little bit of titanium white I'll come over here daisy-like things in there. We'll pop a few in there, here and there. It's cool to hide them behind leaves and... I might put a full one out there somewhere. Oh, let's do one here. As you can see, these little flowers, they add a little something to you know, the painting here and there. I'm just taking my brush, start off flat and just go narrow. All right. Press flat, turn the brush. Get that little teardrop shape. Like that. I don't have to have each one fully shown. They could be a little lighter, a little darker. Got some of the paints coming off the brush, which is cool. That's, that's fine. Or it's getting lighter and lighter. So less and less paint. A little touch of white, a little bit of orange. Contaminate it, move it around a little bit. Once again, after um, a few minutes or so, the uh, camera that's looking at me, it'll click off. And I'll decide at the end there if I want to put it back on or not. This is not really an instructional video, this is just me playing around, killing time. Go that way, like that. And I know where the edge of the paper is, so. And they look pretty neat. Okay, it's just something different to put in there, you know. Every once in a while, just throw something in there. A little, little different. Um, Sonya. <coughs> there was a, um, a building. Um, really nice looking building. I don't know if it's a barn. I don't know what the heck it is. You were in Pennsylvania somewhere. Really nice. You were in a park. And uh, it was a really nice building. So I took a quick screenshot of it. That might, 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 might be my next uh, near future painting. Because I thought it looked great. Don't ask me what the name of it was. I can always go back and, and look. But you did a video. Um, 
one of the parks. So it was really nice. So I snagged it. It was the video you released today, yes. Okay, let's go for some, uh, I think I want uh, a blue flower-ish. But before we go blue, let's get it almost a funky kind of purpley thing. I'll kill it with some green. Then we'll go blue from there. All right, so we've got this weird gray color happening there. Okay, obviously these are two sh uh, small pieces of paper. Um, so I might make this very interesting. One, we'll just do it in the center kind of. So we'll do a f um, the flower in the center, more or less. Okay, so now you don't obviously see that much. It looks kind of nuts. We'll get some white. And we'll, oh, uh, let me think of where to put this guy. Maybe somewhere around in there like that. Okay. Something like that. We'll just light it up right about there. And maybe we'll pop a line up in here like this. Okay. Um, we'll do a few more of those. I like, uh, no, let's, let's just start off with that first. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll play with that and I'll show you what I'll do. So we'll make it interesting because obviously there's a tape that's going to cut it in half anyway. So, okay. Let's, uh, the light source is coming from over here. So let's take some blue. We'll separate it. Do you guys really want to see my face? I don't want to see my face. <clears throat> I don't want to see my face. Let's do it this way. All right. So, and plus it brings you closer anyway. Um, okay. So we got our blue going on. Actually, let's just take this flat blue right here. We'll, we'll start with this first. We'll go backwards. This will be our, our darker area. And we'll just do this with the flatter blue. We'll just come here like that. And then we'll, we'll bring it around to the light side. Like that. We'll keep this fairly dark and whatever. Okay. All right. A little touch of white in the blue. We'll brighten that this side up a little bit. And maybe from right here. A little, little lighter blue right in there. Something like that. Okay. All right. All righty then. And we're going to start building our flower from that. We'll take a half inch here. Let's go into our white. We're going to contaminate that white with a blue a little bit. We're going to come right here on this edge and just give a slight push. This is almost like a a, a, um, a rip off version of trying to do a flower. And we're just gonna concentrate on that edge, just like that. And get rid of everything else, but just keep the edge there. Let's get some more of that. I'm gonna go on the other side. All up in here, just put an edge there. Really pop a nice crooked edge there. I'm gonna take it and all I want is the edge. So I'll make all this disappear. Just like that. I can get that brighter if need be. All right, let's take a little bit of white. Some more of that blue. Okay, we're gonna build another edge. Let's start from here. So see this, this edge right here? Just, all we're gonna do is a nice little curved line and go all the way down like that. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna just destroy that inside edge. We'll brighten it a little bit, but it disappears as it goes into the dark. Like that. 
we'll do another one um, right here and we're gonna go a tight circle around really tight and we're gonna come here just give it a press it's almost like I'm painting an onion this there we go we'll bring that back just like that so it's a rose partially uh, closed all right and once again I want a nice bright edge there the rest can be whisked away come on here let's add a little edge there make it disappear a little edge there even though it's part of the tape you're not gonna see it much it's all right paint it like paint it like you will and you're playing around with like light and shade now now you're having a little fun with it see all right okay I really want another row of these but let's be careful Let's come out here. Let's add one like out here like this. And then I'm gonna just destroy it a little bit. I'm gonna keep some of that dark. Keep some of that dark in there. All right. Bring some of that dark back. Keep the line, get rid of the inside color. Just like that. So it's slowly coming apart. It's very, very, very simple. Once you get the concept of this, you make your own little game of it, really. You know what? I like the way that looks, so let's go in reverse. Let's take that line, and we're going to go this way, this way, this way. Curve it on around and make it really short. So now we got a pedal going the other way. You see how easy that is? So it's going out, comes back, and goes in. Okay. You guys see that, right? Please tell me you see that. You guys see that, right? Let's get some more white. Let's get a little touch of blue. Oh, okay. McConnell's, yes, that's it. It was a beautiful building. Love the perspective. Love the perspective. I appreciate the fact that you are taking time and putting an effort um, in learning your perspective. Trust me, it's going to help you out. And it's going to help you make that happy book too. Even in this, it's directional and I can take my little hand and fade out what I don't want just like that make some of that disappear okay as you see I'm starting to build up that light side on purpose all right okay um do i really want to put anything there not necessarily okay let's play around with some stuff on the outside so let's take a little darker blue we're we'll coming here lighten it up just a bit um here i'll show you uh right in here i'm gonna go in like that for one and we'll come in like that for that one um, maybe play around with something like that in here. I'll just kind of cover it like this. Okay. All right. Those are the petals on the outside. I don't necessarily need that abrupt cutoff going into, into dark there. You, you want to fade that. Just make it disappear into that dark. Just fade it out a little bit. Take it, just make it go away a little. All right, all right. Now that's the lit side, so we're gonna come and get some more titanium white with this blue. 
And once again, we'll play around with that edge. We'll make the edge a little sloppy looking. Come out with a point there like that. And we'll go inside and we'll take it. Just like that. That's one down. Push, push, push. It doesn't have to be even. Push, push, and we'll curve it in like that. And that way, that way. And I'm just destroying the inside edge so you get that nice little rim of color. That helps you sell that stuff. Keep that dark in there, though. Keep it pretty mysterious. Um, we can do the same thing here, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lighten the whole thing like this. Overlap a little bit. I don't want... Well, I can probably get away with that. I probably could, but I'm going to go in reverse and I'll push some of that out. And go in reverse and push it out a little bit. Something like that. It's right here that you can barely see it. But I'll do some. We'll make a, a bent fold there which has to be um, a little lighter than the rest of the flower. It's like the light is directly catching it. So we're gonna come here very narrow right here and we're gonna go opposite, we're gonna go inward. And then we'll go, we'll thin it out. And it's turned, since it's turned towards us, the perspective of it goes the other way. Oh, Doris is on in 30 minutes. So let's, uh, let's put a move on on this here. Watch Doris. Okay, just like that. All right, think we can get this done in 30 minutes? I think so. Since we have a, a rim of color, white, whitish blue, we'll continue that right here. Even though it's on the tape, I don't care. Put a little bit of that in there. All right, that's cool, let it work. No, no harsh lines. Pretty, only on the edges, that's about it. Okay. Only on the edge. Let's play around with that, that darker side now. Darker side, not so bad. You're doing the same thing I did with the lighter side. It's just you're putting the rim of, of color on the dark edge. Just like that. Right, we're we're going to play around with a few of those back there. Um, we got one maybe right in here. And we'll have them curve around like that. And he's curved. All right, you want to still maintain that bowl shape for this guy. Up top here, play around with it like that. And extreme curve. Because you want it to look like it's just folding right over there. So it looks like an opened up cabbage rolls. You follow me? All right. Let's get some more of that dark blue. You can put residual light back there. It, one, it's going to be one of the only times you'll probably see it a little bit. And if I don't curve the petal, it's all right. I can just make, I can make it disappear in the darkness there. Okay. And we got some residual guys folding outward, but you're not going to barely see them. They'll be blue uh, uh, just a tad lighter not by much we'll kind of put it here have it disappear a little bit into that dark even though we're using a darker color we're gonna make it disappear a little bit um we'll have one right here kind of swing it out there and then it comes back like that very important to keep that even with a darker color, keep it dark. 
I'll move the camera over a little bit. Okay. Oh, uh, for you guys, I'm just a hair of light. It's just to show you where they are. It's still, and I'm sometimes I can just get away with just a little, little soft push. That's it. Just to guide your eye, to let you know that they're here okay something is just a push of lighter paint that's all and I don't really have to coax it to move it around it's just a little lighter paint just have your eyes notice that there's something hanging around there and just lightly get rid of the residual stuff I overlap a little bit and curve. All depends on which way you want it, want it to uh, move. I can curve and go in another direction too. Once again, you get accustomed to doing these for a while. Um, it'll happen for you. Inside the pedals there, I can just tease some little lines, circular. I'll somehow push in different directions it looks like little petals gathered there all right that's you know some just that quick all right <coughs> so we don't leave the rest behind there let's get some um here let's go with some different color leaves we'll go with a little bit of red okay uh, let's put these guys right in here like that and we'll come up to a point I'll be a little caring with these here okay so we have one there so I'm just using red right out of the tube red nothing special it's in the blue not enough to really make a major difference but you know it's there uh, here let's do one here I don't know if I'll do three or five yet. I'm contemplating that as I'm talking to you. I'll have a little more concern and care with these because they're out in the forefront. Okay. I see one right here. These guys are a little closer to the vest, so... like it with the three what do you think I kind of like the three let me know what you think all right forgive the uh, the glycerin show you're looking at there we're gonna highlight red with orange okay obviously once again orange is semi-transparent so you kind of got to pump it up with a little bit of titanium white. And consider where the light source is. Push. As you can see, I am not going to go hog wild like I did with the previous ones. A um, little, little care with these. I think on that on that dark part we'll give it a slight push and go in. Then we'll go in there. Give it a little push up there too. I think I like the way that looks. Let's travel that down a little closer here. Push. 
go in, push, go in, push one more, one more. Okay. I'm gonna add a little more titanium white to the orange. I want these to stick out a little, little more, maybe toward the top. I'm going a little higher than the original petals there. I'll get a nice little point. Because I want them to kind of, you know, stick out a little stronger. I'm going a little higher than my original. So it captures all the colors there. I, I got enough here. And I just don't go in as far. It takes practice. I won't I won't kid you. Once you get it though, you, you pretty much got it. Okay. On the darkened side, we'll have a little more contrast, so we'll just give it a nice deeper purple-ish thing, just to give it contrast. So it's a deep red in that blue. Weird purpley red. And if, I don't know if you guys can see, but it does make a difference, that little darker color, because now you're playing around with them. Um, lighter hues of a darker color But it, it you can see that it does show Just like that I have some of it bleeding into the lighter color I have some of the lighter color bleeding into the darker color. Simple variation. All right. Let's take a liner, a script liner, and some water. A little bit more white. Can you guys, yeah, you guys can see this. All right, here we go. you see how you see it okay so they're main leaves of a different flavor here same way to um, design them like the green ones it's just a different color no different you know in painting them it's just a different color Like I say, some people like them, some people can do without them. It's really your preference. I never, um, in the beginning, I never did them with the veins. It just didn't appeal to me at the time, really. But people like them. I know you guys aren't, I see, I see, that's on the border of my hometown. Trestle has been used in 49 years. Okay. Okay, let me see, is there anything else? Anything else I should add to this? I think not. I think we're gonna call this it. 
All right, this will be a wrap. Then we can all harass Doris in a few minutes. We'll throw my name right up in here in the corner. Now, because it's on paper, I will still varnish this. Why, I don't know, but I will still varnish it. But I wouldn't recommend drawing on what's equivalent to like typewriter paper. It's not, it's not good. Not good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. Ironically, when this is totally dry, okay, and there's still creases in it, you can actually put a towel over the paper, um, a, a slightly warm iron, and you can actually iron the creases out. Okay, believe it or not, even on, 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 um, on paper. Once it's dry, you put the, the varnish on it. All right, let's peel this stuff back. Let's get rid of this. And the center of that a little bit bit to her. I don't think it needs to be back in focus. I think it's cool where it is. Usually scotch uh, masking tape and uh, glycerin are not the best of friends, to be honest with you. I'm pulling and, and very, very carefully, as you can see, just pull, pulling the tape from left to right so I don't tear into the art so I'm pulling and going in the opposite direction once again if there's gonna be any tearing it'd be outside the the border not inside the border all right Yeah, it got me. <laughs> yeah, I was reading Rob's comment. Alrighty then. Now the weird thing about it with this painting, obviously, if you know you see it as two separate paintings, and you get a lit side and you got a dark side, but it's of the same oh, cabbage rolls there. All right. Unfortunately, you guys see it but you don't see it um, that's because of the glycerin even if, even if I took the light down a little bit you're not gonna really see it that good I don't believe oh well, maybe you will well yeah, there you go if you guys can adjust to it there it be okay so I took the shine out of it and um, it flattened it out a little but <clears throat> now you can see you know, the residual light there, you still see the curve. So even if you didn't have this painting, you know, it still looks like something over there. Okay. Um, but that's what it looks like all together. Um, I mean, of course, you know, if you put a frame on it and you separate it a little bit, it looks pretty nice. It looked pretty wild. Not too bad for a throwaway, right? Uh, here, let's add, um, I forgot. I always tend to forget when I do these things. Um, we'll add some of those to it, to a few of them that might have some. We'll pop them in there. Yeah, I see you. I see you. I will put a baby one there. Oh, we got one right here. Mm, yeah. Okay. That's cool. That'll work. All right. Well, guys, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to go and pester Doris for a little bit. Uh, she think think she'll be on in about, what, 10 minutes, 7 o'clock. So, um, appreciate you. And I shall see you guys when I see you. Bye-bye.